each of you to join me on a journey. I want you to imagine a time where you were without limits. Imagine a time when nothing could get into your way. Imagine Barbie, Ken, SpongeBob, G.I. Joe, whatever it might be. Remember what it was like to be a kid, to play, where nothing could stop you. And now for the next three and a half minutes, I want you to live in that moment. Albert Einstein, definitively one of the most brilliant minds of the last century, said that imagination is more important than knowledge. This man, who has come up with ideas that I can barely comprehend, who is the father of mathematics and science, said that imagination is greater than knowledge. Now let's go back to Barbie and Ken and Bob, because remember, you're living in that moment. Do you remember as a little kid picking up some random object, we'll say the fork, and suddenly the fork is talking to the dog, and the dog is talking back to the fork, and you get it. <laughs> the imagination of a child is limitless. That is until we're told to stop. Stop pretending. Grow up. Act your age. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that imagination has no age limit. This is me my three-year-old self. I keep, this, I keep this picture on my desk to remind me of the man that I want to be, to remind me what this little mind would think of today, of this moment. The problem with growing up is we forget what it's like to be that three-year-old self. The problem with growing up is we forget what it's like to play. We forget that our imagination is greater than and more important than our knowledge. So as we grow up, it's essential to look at this type of an image and remind ourselves the power of our childhood imagination and never lose sight of that. For this little guy, nothing was impossible. I lost sight of that at one point in time in my life, and I'm glad that I found it again, because for me, nothing is impossible. I believe the core to myself that each and every one of us in this room has a capacity to change this world. I believe in a world where the old and the wise will give us the tools that we need to make changes to this world. I believe that we have this great and amazing power within us. We were born with that power. John F. Kennedy said that children are the world's most valuable resource and its best hope for the future. A resource. Our imagination as children is a resource. That idea isn't new, but it is time to act. To the young people in this audience, to my peers, my friends, my sisters that are out here, hi. <laughs> it is time to stand up. It is time for us to believe in ourselves and let our imagination run wild. To the, my elders in the audience tonight, give us a chance. Be our guide. Help us. It is time for us all to believe in ourselves, to believe in our dreams, to believe in our imagination. It is time for us all to empower the imagination of young people and to live within that spirit ourselves, no matter how old we are, whether we're three or 93. Imagine if as parents and adults started saying yes more than we said no. Imagine if industry were to empower young people to develop and create the new technologies that will drive our world and our future. Imagine if business and industry and, and education were to partner together to empower young people to find the solutions to the problems that we face today and tomorrow. Imagine if we lived our life with our three-year-old self as our guide. Imagine if, instead of telling children that this is what the world is, we told children and allowed them to tell us this is what the world could be. Now imagine that. 